A verdict has been handed down in a war crimes trial in Ukraine. The court has just sentenced a Russian soldier to life in prison for killing an unarmed civilian. This is the first war crimes trial to come from Russia's invasion of Ukraine almost three months ago. And our correspondent, Gulliver Craig, joins me now for more. Gulliver, what can you tell us? Well, yes, so it's a life sentence for Vadim Shishimarin, a 21-year-old Russian soldier who killed a 62-year-old man in a northern Ukrainian village on the 28th of February. Vadim Shishimarin had pleaded guilty, but his defense attorney, who was appointed by the Ukrainian state, had said that certain circumstances should be taken into account, notably the fact that there were four other Russian soldiers with him in the car that they were traveling through this village in, who were putting a great deal of pressure on him, calling him to shoot the man and threatening him. Also, the fact that they had recently come under fire from Ukrainian soldiers, these Russian soldiers. And so this young man may have felt under uh, pressure and perhaps that could have led to some leniency. But the judge in his explanations said that none of these arguments could really be taken into account. And he went for what the prosecution had asked for, which was life imprisonment. Now, the wife of the man who was killed, the widow, has said, although she wanted Vadim Shishimarin to get life imprisonment, that she would also be happy if he were to be exchanged against one of the Ukrainian soldiers who have been taken out of the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol and are now in Russian custody. That's clearly something that's going to be under discussion. Gulliver, how likely is it that this trial will open the way to many more similar trials? Well, the Ukrainian general prosecutor, Irina Venediktova, says that they have got more than 40 cases that are, as it were, ready to go. I'm not entirely sure whether all 40 of them are Russian soldiers that the Ukrainians have in custody. The problem, of course, is that in many of the cases where war crimes have been committed and there may be evidence, there is not the accused in Ukrainian custody because they've either gone back to Russia or are still fighting somewhere on the eastern um, or southern fronts where the war, of course, is uh, still going on. Gulliver, thank you for that. Gulliver Craig there reporting for us from Kiev.